All right, y'all, so I'm in Dollar Tree and I figured I would come in and check out what they had going on for fall and for Halloween. Look at these little eyeballs, you guys. <laughs> these are cute. Let me see that have the, the Happy Halloween plates here. They have the napkins to match. They also have these plates, which are cute. They have the pumpkin, the cats. Look at that, so cute. Of course, some of this stuff, you guys, is just all, um, you know, repeat the same stuff that they have pretty much every year. So, I like these. This is cute. The candy or whatever, I like the shape of that. So they have it in the orange. And they also have it in the, um, the spider web. As you can see, I'm in the Atlanta area, if anybody does not know that. So they have that. Just cute. This is a candy holder. <laughs> Spider. It's fun. Let's see what else they got going on here. I just saw somebody hauling these little um, faux books. This one here says fortune tellers. This is like a little... Um, I guess a little basket or whatever you could put stuff in, brooms and wands. Some more. These like little skull mugs. I never thought about getting one of these for um, you know, Halloween. I do like the ghost mug though. For dollar twenty-five. I think the ghost mug is cute. I might get the ghost mug just for the season. Yeah, I like the ghost mug. It's cute. These signs are so cute, you guys. They have the um, pumpkin patch. They have the spiced apple cider and the pumpkin pie. I like the spiced apple cider one. And they have the brooms here, really cute. And I have all the different signs up here. You know, I used to fill my house with these signs. I did, and I love them. I still do, but I won't be doing it this year. Gather and be grateful. That's a nice one. Let's see. Look at the door, the doorbells. <laughs> Hello, Autumn. These are cute. Now look at these cups I spotted. Look how cute these are. Like for your iced coffee or whatever. These are really fun. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna get them, but they're cute. Open up one. That's what it looks like on the inside. You have your straw. So they're cute for like iced coffee or whatever. So they have those, these pumpkins down here. And they have this small little area, Christmas area they have going on here. Not quite ready for this yet, but they do have the Christmas ribbon out. This is some felt um, decorations they have. These little tree ornaments, the bows. So if you guys want to get this stuff early, We'll come to the Dollar Tree and pick it they up. They have their Dollar Plus section. I don't shop in this section often, but I do like to come see what they have. They have some candles here. Oh, that smells good. This is a toasted marshmallow. This one is $5. They have the pumpkin spice. Let's give this one a smell. Oh, that smells good too. Cranberry chutney. Oh, that one's a great smell. I love that one. That one smells good. some red pepper seasoning you guys but they don't have any and we are completely out but I don't see none so I guess I'm gonna have to go to another store I thought this was it but this is steakhouse seasoning yeah that's steak seasoning but we don't have any I was looking over here too um they don't have any red pepper flakes so 
gonna try somewhere else for that. I've never seen this modern pantry, the plant-based one, the unsweetened. So if y'all are looking for plant-based milk, they have it in the Dollar Tree. I had never seen that before. They also have the almond milk, I see, and the unsweetened. Then they have it way back there, y'all, in the sweetened vanilla. That's the, um, this is a good thing to have too because it is shelf stable. Yeah, I might get this because I use almond milk in my chia seed pudding. I use the unsweetened um, almond milk, but I like the vanilla, but the vanilla one is sweetened. So I might get this one just to have in my pantry. These are cute, you guys. I love the ribbing in them and the color. I love the colors of these. But y'all, these ain't big enough for me, no coffee. Like, that's too small for me, a cup of coffee. Iced coffee? Mm -mm. They're cute though, but they're too small. I was looking at these mugs. These mugs are really nice. Lord knows I do not need another coffee mug, y'all. But these, those are really nice mugs. I also like this bowl with the pink flowers on it. And it is dishwasher safe and microwave safe. Which is the first thing I check for. Microwave safe and dishwasher safe. So, as long as I can, I can go in those two places, I'm cool with it. But it is cute. Hey you guys, so I just came out of the Dollar Tree. So I went in there to see what they had. I didn't do a proper intro. So, hey you guys, hope everyone is doing well. So I just wanted to do a Dollar Tree and walk through today and show you guys what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. I didn't get a whole lot, y'all. I spent under $20 because, y'all, I used to go into the Dollar Tree and spend so much money on stuff and, pull that window down. So much money on stuff that I just didn't even need, ended up throwing away and all this stuff. So now when I go into the Dollar Tree, y'all, I go in there with purpose. I go in with purpose. Not to say I won't buy something that I really don't need, but the way I used to spend money in the Dollar Tree, y'all, no more. So I spent about 17, close to 18 bucks in the Dollar Tree. I'm very proud of myself for that. Let me just show y'all what I picked up. Like I said, nothing special some snacky items a few pantry items and that's it really it's going to be a small haul so i did get a pack of the mini chocolate chip cookies james and my son likes these and for one pack it's 120 calories 21 grams of carbs and two grams of protein so uh got one pack of these this is james's favorite um cookies this is the fudge mint cookies. I guess they're sort of like the Girl Scout dupe cookies, but these are really good. And y'all, just like the Girl Scout ones, if you put them in the freezer, they're so good. So I did go ahead and get a package of those. And this is the oven baked brand. I was looking for the lemon sandwich cream cookies that I got last time, y'all, they didn't have them. They didn't have them. And my son loves those cookies and James does too, but they didn't have them. For those of you who are new, James is my boyfriend, my significant other. I Sometimes I refer to him as James, but those of you who I knew, that's who James is. And um, obviously when I say my son, I mean my son, but James is my boyfriend. I got two of these um, pretzel dippers. My son loves these. He likes the pretzel ones better than the um, breadstick ones. So I just keep these in the pantry. I got two packages of the Bumblebee. This is the wild caught tuna, the Mediterranean herbs and spices. I did get two of those. I like to have these. I like to snack on these. It's a mayo. They're so good. So, I got that. I just got this big thing of water. You guys know I like to use this in my coffee mix my coffee maker so I just got one for now because I'm by myself and I don't want to have to carry it <laughs> so I just got one all I need was one anyway I did get another thing of the modern pantry whole milk I like to keep this in my pantry because y'all this is so great to have and it even though, even after you open it even though it says you have to use after 14 days Y'all, I've had mine in my refrigerator past the 14 day mark and it worked, it, it was still good and fresh. It says suggested use, but 
if you happen to have it in there past the two week mark, it's fine. I used it and it was great. So I like to have this instead of buying the regular container of milk because it keeps much, much longer. They also had the almond milk in there, which I did not get. And they had the oat milk, the plant-based oat milk. I've never seen the plant-based oat milk in there before, but they do have it. I got two of the Hunt's meat and pasta sauce. And y'all, I just put these in my pantry and stock up on them. Pasta sauces and tomatoes and marinara sauces are a good staple item to have in your pantry. And I like to just keep those in there. Ooh, take a sip of my Coke. My Coke Zero. I brought it with me. I just dropped my son off at work, so I just decided to bring my Coke Zero with me. I bought two more packages of the napkins. We are running low. We only have one pack left. So I went and just got two more. I will get more later. I think I think Sam's Club sells these, if I'm not mistaken. I have to look into that. And I just got a pack of paper plates. This is just the small ones. This is the eight-inch paper plates. I just got one package of those. We need more, but I was on a budget, y'all. And I was like, $20, that's all I'm going in here to spend. Um, that was it, and that's all I spent, y'all, was the twenty dollars because I'm not sure. And I saw something. Now you'll see, you probably saw already. They had like some nice signs. I used to buy all that stuff, you guys. If you guys have been with me for a minute, I used to buy all those signs and everything. I, I mean, I still love them. They're all still so pretty, but it's like ever since I moved, it's like I just don't want to. I don't want to put that stuff in the house. I just want to put, you know just you know stuff that I really love you know I mean I like that stuff and it's pretty but you know I used to line my whole wall with all that stuff when the fall time came I would run in there and try to get all that stuff stuff I see people buy honey please when when we ended up when we moved to this new place y'all ended up throwing all that crap away I mean you throw it all away and then you just rebuy it the next year and people might say well it's only a dollar 25 honey those coins add up those coins add up and then you throw it away at the end of the season because I mean some people might not but honey no thank you I just say you know what I'm gonna find me a couple of really nice pieces from like you know um, um, like a Hobby Lobby or something like that stuff that's really good quality stuff that will last you for years and years to come if you you know take care of it that's the type of stuff I'm trying to buy. As a matter of fact, I might have to, I might go into like a Hobby Lobby or one of those stores and find me some really good quality fall pieces just to have around the house. And I can have that stuff for years and years to come because most of the time that stuff is good quality. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Just a quick little Dollar Tree walkthrough and haul. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, y'all give it a thumbs up for me. It is about, what time is it now? Oh, it's 6.35. So, yeah, like I said, I dropped my son off. I said, we just went and hit to this Dollar Tree real quick and see what they got going on. So, I really didn't see too many. Like, I saw those signs, but not too many 4-4 items. If y'all looking for them, you know. But I only went to this one Dollar Tree. I'm sure the other day. There's so many Dollar Trees up and down this road. But this one here is the one that's closer to me. It's the one I typically just go to. But, yeah. So, anyway, y'all, I'm going to get off here. And thank you guys for joining me on this car Dollar Tree haul. If you enjoyed it, y'all, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, you guys know, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, you guys. Have a great one. See you later. Bye.